Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see how a negative clamper with positive bias work, its operation during positive and negative half cycle of AC input signal and its output waveform. So let's begin with the topic. As we know, negative clamper is basically used for shifting the input signal in downward direction without changing shape of the input signal. Now in case of negative clamper, the direction of diode is opposite to that of the positive clamper. Now negative clamper is used along with a positive bias battery source. That means we are providing additional DC shift into the input signal in addition to the shifting of input signal. So let's see how the circuit looks like. It consists of capacitor, diode and load resistance RN that is connected in parallel with the diode D. We are using additional battery source VB. The battery is connected in a such a way that it provides a positive bias to the diode D. Now let's see what will happen during positive half cycle of AC input signal. During positive half cycle of AC input signal, terminal A becomes positive and terminal B becomes negative. Therefore, it makes the diode forward bias. But battery is connected in a such a way that end terminal of diode is connected to the positive terminal of battery and negative terminal of battery is connected to the P terminal of diode. Therefore, VV makes the diode reverse bias. So, when input voltage is less than battery voltage, as battery voltage is dominating one, it allows the diode to act in the reversed bias condition and therefore it acts as an open switch. As diode acts as an open switch, it allows input to appear across output. Therefore, in positive half cycle, when input is less than battery voltage, then diode acts as an open switch and signal appears across the output. But when input signal starts increasing than the battery voltage, as input is dominating one, it makes the diode forward bias, the diode acts as a closed switch and therefore it charges the capacitor and nothing appears across the output and capacitor now starts storing the charge. Now let's see what will happen during negative half cycle of AC input signal. During negative half cycle of AC input signal, terminal A becomes negative and terminal B becomes positive. So because of this, the diode become reversed bias by the input voltage. As we are not changing the polarity of battery, the battery also makes the diode reversed bias. Therefore, irrespective of whether input is greater than or less than battery voltage, the diode always works in the reverse bias condition in the negative half cycle of AC input signal. Therefore, it acts as an open switch and it allows input to appear across output. In addition to that, the voltage present on capacitor is also appears across the output as the capacitor starts discharging through a load resistance RN. Therefore, the output voltage during negative half cycle is nothing but the sum of input voltage plus the voltage across the capacitor. Now let's see how the output waveform looks like. This is how the output waveform of negative clamper with positive bias looks like. It provides an additional DC shift because of the addition of battery voltage VB. So this is how the working of negative clamper with positive bias. So I hope you understand this working. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.